Hello again, it's me, your friendly neighborhood iPad, here to give you the latest and hottest info from the Earthbound Travel Guide. Upon returning to Winters, go past Stonehenge and back to the cave Jeff went through. A giant mushroom is guarding the rainy circle who can cause your party to attack each other. Take it out quickly to save yourself some trouble. After taking out the mushroom and getting back in the Skyrunner, you'll arrive at the resort town Summers and the port town of Toto. Here in Summers, everything is very expensive, but if you can afford the equipment now, you'll be much stronger for the long run. If you'd like, you can also stay at the High Class Hotel and order food to go at the fancy restaurant. They serve pasta and even crack and soup, which recovers all hit points. Head east to reach the port town Toto, where inside a house is the guy who will hand you the number for the Stoic Club. Make a reservation and head inside to find a lady who makes magic cake. Supposedly, this cake is known to cause strange dreams. Well, that just about does it for this part of the Earthbound Travel Guide, and now for your regularly scheduled video presentation. What's going on viewers from the internet? I'm VarietyGamer95, back for some more Earthbound. So last time, we rescued Paula from Monotoli and back at Foresight. We went to Threed, and Jeff was able to get the Skyrunner working to go back to Winters. This time, as I realized that no, Paula's psychic points did not actually recover, Luckily, that doesn't even matter because we could use this. The instant revitalizing device. It fully revitalizes you, and I believe it also cures unconsciousness, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, before you do anything else, I would highly recommend creating a save point here. Because if you remember that Jeff passed by a your sanctuary location, but you couldn't fight it, Ness is with him now, so he can take advantage of it. Oh, you surprised me! You're Ness, aren't you? Jeff wets his bed sometimes, but other than that, he's a good boy. Wow, way to say that, not only to a complete stranger, but to a complete stranger with Jeff right there! Some dad you are! Father of the year right here, folks! Take care of yourself, and Jeff! The bubble monkey said there's a cave north of Stonehenge. I've known about it for a long time. The locals call the area a rainy circle, but I haven't been there. I wonder what's inside the cave. I, uh, huh. I understand. While you're checking out that place, I'll work on remodeling the Skyrunner. Oh, yes, yes. My co-worker, Bigfoot, dislikes violence. He's such a nice guy, and he loves people. He often shares his beef jerky with me. This is why I recommend it coming here with cash, because there's no ATM here. And while you can't technically teleport back to Winters, you'll teleport, always teleport at the north end, and there are some incredibly tough enemies that you'll have to get through. So yes, he actually sells a couple of items. A couple of noodles, it costs $98 but it stores like 12 HP. Beef jerky stores a good amount, protein jerky stores a good amount, a cup of coffee. A bottle of DX water restores PP, but only one by one. Uh, it'll actually be useful to another guy a little bit later, not too much longer. And he also has a secret herb. Beef jerky, the beef jerky and the protein jerky will probably be your uh, best options. Fortunately, I don't have a lot of room. I think 1,000 would have actually sufficed. So I'm going to go ahead and get some jerky. Uh, I do have some big bottle rockets. Nope, don't need anything else. Uh, this is actually a pretty elaborate description. Beef jerky. Recipe for making jerky. But taste the type of meat slice into pieces about a half an inch thick. Hang the pieces on a laundry line or something like it and leave it out in the sun for maybe six months? Well, that's what my recipe says. We need to recover about 150 HP. Very respectable. Alright, here we are in Winters. Back in Winters. Okay. You kids don't look very bright. Let me explain. These stones are making a pattern. It's called Stonehenge. UFOs often visit here. You must have seen it on a TV or read about it in the tabloids. Yes, that's Stonehenge. I skipped over all this because I was rushing to get to the save point, but there is actually a photo spot here. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say, fuzzy pickles. Wow, what a great photograph! 
it will always bring back the fondest of memories. You could actually get this photo spot with Jeff by himself, but I did not want to re re replay that entire area. So, I didn't bother going in here as well. Ooh, how mysterious. Look at that. For some reason, something that looks like a very large iron eraser is in the way. There's an enemy over there too, but we can't fight it yet. Not that we really wanna. Okay. So let's go ahead and get it. You have... <sighs> really? Wow! As if the cheap shot at DuckTales Remastered wasn't... Oh my lord. Okay, this is the cave boy. It's the same enemy as before, it's just that it has different stats. It's a lot faster now. And it also drops a different item. That's not guaranteed. Wow, I'm really glad I gave Paula back the uh, platinum band. At least that stupid bear didn't join in. Okay. So believe it or not, we actually do not spawn far from the boss at all. Here it is right here. You finally got here. This is the fourth your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. Shroom! This is Shroom. He has 1700 HP, a 112 PP, an offense of 95, a defense of 154, a speed of 18, and 32 guts. He has a 50-50 chance of being affected by hypnosis and flash, but he's immune to paralysis, so don't try that. He has a 50% resistance, weakness, whatever, to freeze, but he is very vulnerable to flash at 100%. He yields 96,323 experience at $4,086. Shroom can bash to deal low damage. That's its only attack. It's pretty weak, but what makes it dangerous is coming up. He can use Life of Alpha to restore HP. He can scatter some spores to mushroom out as a party member. You heard that right. Masturbization during a boss fight. He'll cause you to attack yourself so frequently using big water rockets that get rid of him ASAP. He can also disrupt your senses to cause lack of concentration. Okay, so it might be best to go all out right now. No, 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 not with Ness. PSI fire beta. Jeff, fire that big water rocket. Paula's going first. Oh, son of a bitch! Okay, good, it was on Paula. Okay, I was so worried it's gonna be on Jeff. Well, I can't really have Paulo do anything. This is why I want to get some big bottle rockets. He has 1700 HP. Okay, I have one more big water rocket, and he didn't recover much. It's good thing I got three of them. There we go. Nice and painless. Alright. Ness realized the power of PSI Flash Beta. I was wondering when I was going to get that. And Jeff gained two level ups. Wow. Yep, you're warped straight to the boss, effectively. Let's go ahead and claim our prize. Ness caught a whiff of steak, but just for a second. Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of the rainy circle. You might have noticed, yes, there are enemies here. And believe it or not, they actually bothered to go to the trouble of putting new enemies in the rainy circle cave, even though you have no reason to fight them. Because you're, like I said, you're warped basically right next to the boss. I'm sure we'll go over them over an end card or something. Uh, okay. Somehow that bear did not catch me. I'm eager to move on though, so let's go ahead and head back to Dr. Ananuts' lab. Wow, I'm actually surprised I didn't lose any- lose! I didn't lose the money that I had either. Let's go ahead and call Dad. 22,000, wow. Let's go ahead and save the game. Alright. 
Uh, don't talk to him yet. Oh, no, I'm fully healed. What are we doing? Oh, Ness. Jeff wants his business sometimes, but other than that, he's a good boy. So you haven't learned, huh, Dr. Nuts? Take care of yourself, and Jeff? Hmm. It looks like you found something out. I finished remodeling the Skyrunner. You can leave for summers whenever you wish. It shouldn't break this time. Well, maybe. What about the sentence? Will that have a break? Let's go ahead and move on to Summers then. Yeah, something tells you that thing's not going to come back from that one. Ever. Well, here we are. This is the resort town Summers. The guy next to me is really bugging me. He keeps following me around. Wake up in the morning, fall in love. Eat lunch, fall in love. And at night, fall in love again. That's my dream life. Let's see. I wonder what such serious looking kids as you would come to this resort town. You guys are spoiling the atmosphere. Alright, oh, that guy. Come on. You look so serious. You're in Summers, a dream paradise. Relax and have some fun. I didn't want to despawn him because he's actually an enemy. One of only two regular enemies in the game. In, in the game, in the area. Technically three, but the third one's a fixed encounter. So let's go over him. This is the tough guy. He has 342 HP, 0 PP, an offensive 72, a defensive 92, a speed of 18, and 20 guts. He has a 50-50 chance of being affected by hypnosis, paralysis, and flash, and has a 75% weakness to fire and freeze. He yields 9,310 experience to fire over $25, and because he's a tough guy, he has a 32 of 128 chance of dropping a chick. You know, he's a tough guy, so he picks up chicks. He can come out swinging to deal low damage and lose one's temper, which is offensive alpha. Pretty basic guy, all things considered. Can't really do much to you. Especially when Paula gets a smash hit. Well, so did he. Luckily, it was on Ness. Okay. So, there are actually some vehicular enemies to come across in this place as well. The sky is blue and the sun is high. The prices here are so high, it'll make your face turn blue. That's Summers. We can go to our restaurant. Hey! Hey! Stop putting your grimy fingerprints all over my car, you little punk! I'm actually a surfer, but you can't surf in this beach. Should I become a porter so that I can get tips from all the old folks? So, what he was saying about the prices being high is 100% true. We can go shopping here and take out everything that I have to 2756. Let me see, make sure I got some free space. Nope, I sure don't. Get rid of the secret herb, just get rid of it. It's good to cure diamondization, but I don't have that. Sudden Guts Pill, I never use that. I can sell the silver bracelet because I don't need it. Hi, welcome to my store! What do you need? So you're going to buy something, eh? This equipment is very expensive. Like, look at the diamond band. It's practically $10,000. This is actually because you're able to get this equipment for much cheaper a little bit later. But if you can get this equipment now, you'll be prepared for the road ahead. You're gonna need a lot of money if you want everyone fully outfitted. Yes, I want to sell that silver bracelet before I forget. Silver bracelet. 
I think maybe I should at least get some defense. I don't need equipment for Paula, luckily. Gold bracelet. The super plush bear is really expensive, but it's basically a stronger teddy bear. I think it has like 400 HP or something. Totally worth it, though. Platinum band, diamond band, lucky coin. Yeah, you need a lot of money to get everyone completely outfitted. But the diamond band is very good, if you can afford it. Of course, I'm going to get that for Paula. And I'm going to get one for Jeff as well. I'm not too concerned about Nessa's defense, because, like I keep saying, Ness has high-ass HP. We're concerned about everyone else's defense. So, buy my gold bracelet. Yeah, see? Look, I already spent almost all my money. Let's go ahead and deposit. No, I didn't want to do that. Okay. Four, eight, six, six. Alright. Oh, I should also mention you can use the time map in Summers as well. This is what it looks like. Summers is the top on the left side of the town, and on the right side, on the bottom, is the port town of Toto. Oh, what's this place about? This is not the Stoic Club. Please be on your way. Are you sure about that? Because it says Club Stoic right there on the top. If you're bored, go check out the Scarab Cultural Museum. It may be helpful to you. They have a hieroglyph from a pyramid. Another nice day. Summers always has sunny days. So it's not clear where you're supposed to go next, but you're supposed to go over here to Toto. East of here is the port town of Toto. No, no, I'm, I'm not a billboard. Okay. So let me see. You have to go to a particular house. I believe it's actually this one. Here we go. Do you know the Stoic Club in Summers? You need to call a secret number for a reservation if you want to get in. What? Yeah, I'll give you the secret number. I warn you though, it's a strange place. Wow. Haha. <laughs> uh... Way to give it the number to a stranger. Good job, buddy. We'll use it to our advantage. You hear that? Someone's calling for us. Hello, Jeff? Oh, happy day! I finally got a hold of you. Oh, Jeff! Hi, it's me, Tony. I collected players' names for a school project. You know, players just like you. Me? That's right, you, the one holding the controller. Would you register your name, please? Don't spell your name wrong. You get so many characters to work with during this screen, it's not even funny. Wow, like, you get so much space to work with. You can basically put in whatever you want. If you, It's worth noting that you can actually play this game two-player, kind of. Both controller ports are active and earthbound. If you press and hold select on this screen on the second controller, you can actually get a flag to appear, but only if you're holding select. So what you're intended to do is to put in your player name. My name, of course, being Joseph. That's what you're supposed to do. However, I think maybe I can get a little more creative than that. Let's see. I have an idea for someone, something that I could put down. Hopefully I can spell it right. And it should fit as well. No, that's not what I want. Everyone on... So finicky with uh, the way this word is capitalized or not. Everyone on Earth. Because now... Oh, yeah! See? See, 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 see. This is exactly why I always proofread everything that I do. Because, believe it or not, I am particularly anal about the, about the way that I spell my posts on social media. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I cannot stand misspellings in my own work. They bother the crap out of me. That should say every one on Earth, not every on, not ever on Earth. Thanks, game player. Thank you very much. Is this correct? Let's see. Everyone on Earth. Yep, looks good. I apologize for any trouble this may have caused you. Don't put my friend Jeff in any dangerous situations, okay? I worry about him. I really do. Well, talk to you later. Jeff, I hope that I can see you again when you're feeling up to it. From Tony. 
You got that? Well, I've been on the phone too long. Gotta go. Good luck. Take care. So long. This time I'm really gonna hang up. Goodbye. Right? If you're wondering why I put in everyone on Earth as the player name, that's gonna be important for someone, uh, something that's coming up a lot later in the game. You'll find out what I mean in due time. Don't worry. I put that in for a reason. So what we're supposed to do now is call the Stoic Club. Call the Stoic Club. Hello, this is the Stoic Club. Oh, yes, sir. Would you like to make a reservation? Certainly. We are looking forward to having you here. Thank you. Right, so now we have a reservation at the Stoic Club. Let's go ahead and go to this place. Hmm. What's up with this rock? Very interesting. I finally awakened the inner me, the true self. The patrons of this club were able to stare to their own soul hard, enough to burn a hole in their psyche. I'm not comfortable enough to stare at the real me, the true self, and burn the impression into my super ego. I want to be in this comfort zone at any time, all the time or at no time. My I, my Eid is telling me. <laughs> Didactically speaking, seminal evidence seems to ex exculpate the fact that your re re wow, these are weird words. Your repudiation of entropy supports a theory of space-time synthesis. Of this, I'm irrefutably confident. You guys can't envision the final collapse of this capitalism? Incredible! Hmm. I think it's a very complicated issue. Oh, sorry. I was sleeping. The show? It's already started. Everyone stares at the stone at the stage and philosophizes. Doesn't it sound stupid? You know, I really want to eat some magic cake. It's a mysterious work of art. I can't get that cake off my mind. There's only one woman who can make magic cake. She's hanging out in this club. Yeah, she's over there at the entrance. Anyway, the absolute irony in study of self-identification is... Blah, blah, blah. I don't know what to do. You don't understand what the hey everyone is talking about, do you? I don't either, but I try to be patient with the customers. They pay high prices just for a glass of water and the chance to have serious intellectual discussions. Actually, it's an easy business. Do you want a drink? We only serve water, though. So this guy in the red suit is talking about the lady uh, at the entrance making magic cake? She just says the same thing. Except, she's talking to that guy. What? What? Magic cake? Do you keep all the switches to eat my magic cake? Uh, I guess. I see. Okay. Why don't you stop by a little car on the, out on the beach later? Hmm. Let's go ahead and talk to her. That cart should be... I think it's to the... No, it's to the left. Is there, like I said, there are vehicular enemies to come across. Here we go. I don't know who told you. You came from far off just to eat my magic cake. I thought making cakes would be the best career for me. Dig in! I use all leftover materials. This is a very special magic cake. Oh, dude, trippy! Hello again. It's me, your friendly neighborhood iPad, here to give you the latest and hottest info from the Earthbound Travel Guide. The country of Delam is known for its eastern culture and cuisine. They serve rice gruel, water, and even something called a brain food lunch. Here, we join Delam's prince, Pooh, as he finishes up his Moo training. He must climb to the top of Mount Moo and clear his mind of everything. Don't fall for the local girl's tricks, as if you do, you'll need to backtrack to the palace and restart the entire process. Once Pooh finishes his training, he must return to the palace and speak with the elder. After his story about the fate of the world, Pooh will realize the power of teleport and will seek out Ness immediately. Well, that just about does it for this part of the Earthbound Travel Guide. We now return to your regularly scheduled video presentation. Ness had a dream. It was a very clear and very strange dream. Delam in the Far East.
the Palace of Pooh, the Crown Prince. Prince Pooh, the time has now come for you to undertake your final trial. Go to the Palace of Emptiness and endure this final test. I am praying for your success in this final stage of your training. Alright, so this is actually the fourth party member. His name is Pooh. We are joining him as he's finishing up the last of his training. At least he doesn't start at level 1. Thank God for that. These are his start starting stats. He starts with 106 HP and 35 PP. He also comes with a couple different techniques. PSI Freeze Alpha and Beta, PSI Thunder Alpha and Beta. He can also use Life Up and Healing. Finally, we have the second guy who's able to use these techniques, am I right? He, Pooh also has Shield Alpha and Sigma. Ness will never get Shield Sigma. But he doesn't have any other techniques. Pooh, open the chest. There is a Brain Food Lunch. There's another chest. There's a couple of Life Noodles inside. Here's the third chest. There's a Brain Stone inside. The brainstone prevents lack of concentration for kicking in. The thing is, though, you don't really need it. Concentration is such a remote status element, and like I said, I only ever deal with it when Jeff is alone. So I just uh, keep it in the Escargo Express, or with Tracy, I guess. Use the treasures in Delam as you wish. Go in peace. You know what's, you know what's even more impressive about Pooh? He has psychic powers, but that does not mean that he has Ness's phone number. Ness's dad's phone number. Pooh is actually calling Ness's dad. That's really impressive that Pooh actually managed to get his phone number. That's something else. Maybe it's best not to question it. Plus, Pooh doesn't even know of Ness. How in the world does he even know the guy? Alright, this is Delam. What is immortality? Is it everlasting life? Hmm, hmm. Okay. You can explore this place if you want. Oh, Prince Pooh! I'm surprised you're not in training! It seems like that's all you do these days. Why don't you take this time to play with me? I'm so lonely without you. Oh, Prince Pooh! Do you have time to play with me? Yes! Happy me! Patty cake, patty cake. Apparently, in uh, the Japanese version, it was implied that these two were making out. So they had to censor that for the American release, of course. I heard that Prince Pooh is deeply into Moo training. I want to help him if I can. <clears throat> Prince Pooh, you are such a hunk! I believe there are treasures to come across in some of these houses as well. Yes. There's a jar of deli sauce inside. Remember all the time back in Tucson when I said that there is only one condiment that's really worth using? This is it. The jar of deli sauce. Used with sprinkling it over food. It tastes good with any kind of food, thereby increasing the recovery power of the food. This is basically a super condiment. It's good on absolutely anything and everything. If you use it on the brain for lunch, it's a full HP and PP recovery. Amazing. You know that you do do everything well, right? Do do? Oops. Say, Prince Pooh, are you still popular with the girls? I guess. I heard you live a more serious lifestyle these days. I mean, he is about to finish his training after all. Come on. So, yes, this is actually a shop where we can steal some of the treasures as well. A bowl of rice gruel inside. Pretty good recovery item. And a bottle of water. I wish I could recover my PP just by drinking water. Even though I've never seen it before, I heard that the prince can do that. I guess I need more training. By the way, just what is PP anyway? We serve water, rice, gruel, and those sorts of things. What would you like to do? Uh, Pooh doesn't have any money, so I can't buy anything. But the jar of jelly sauce and the brain food lunch are pretty expensive. This is where you can buy them. Huh. Maybe once Pooh hears of Ness. Come on. Maybe once Pooh hears of Ness. He can join up with. He can join up and he can get money basically. As strange as this may sound, there are statues of rabbits blocking your way. Interesting. This is Moo, the Palace of Nothingness. 
Oh, the place said nothing is. People who trained here must first clear everything from their mind. If you can make your mind blank and learn the true meaning of Moo, you'll pass through. Moo's Moo. You have nice eyes. Uh, thanks for the compliment. You must be Prince Pooh. Long ago, I completed Moo training. I wanted to show you a higher level of intelligence. However, I'm still realizing I'm learning this high level. I'll see you again. So long. Hmm, interesting. I wonder who this guy is. Let's go up here. Ah, Prince Pooh! I am a messenger from your master. He sent me to tell you that you must stop your meditation immediately. Prince Pooh, you must come back with me instead of staying in a place such as this. Your master wishes it. Please rise, Prince. Your Highness, you must give up this trial for now. Believe what I say. It is the truth. Somehow I don't think that is. But of course, what first timer is going to figure that one out? I certainly didn't. Prince Pooh, I am the spirit of your ancient lineage. To complete your trial, I am going to break your legs. You will lose the use of them. Do you accept this? So, Prince Pooh, you cannot walk as your legs are broken. Next, I will tear your arms off. I shall then take your arms and feed them to the crows. The taking of your arms. Do you accept this? Ah, Prince Pooh. Without legs and arms, you can only lie there. Now I'll cut your ears off. You do not mind my taking your hearing away, do you? Do you accept this? So, Prince Pooh. No leg, no arm, and no sound. By floating words through the air, I must ask you. Do you care if I take your eyes? Do you want to live in eternal darkness? I shall steal your sight. Do you accept this? So, Prince Pooh, now I can only communicate directly with your mind. Your mind is all you have left. In the end, I will take your mind. So you probably don't want to allow that, do you? So, you can't answer? You can't even move? Are you sad? Are you lonely? If you lose your mind, you also lose any feelings of sadness. Do you accept this? I will take your mind, Prince Pooh. Know that I will possess it. Um, wow, okay, that was definitely something else. Prince Pooh, you have not completed your training. The old master must be so pleased. Hurry now and return to the palace. Okay, so now that Pooh's training has finally been finished, let's go ahead and head back to the palace. Alright. Ah, just taking the sights and sounds of Delam. I believe, from what I know, Delam is actually a floating country. It's in the far east, too. It's not an eagle land, that's for sure. It's in a completely different area. Or a region, I guess. Prince Pooh, you're my favorite! Tee hee hee! Alright, let's go ahead and report to the master. Okay, just is the same thing. I am proud! You have completed your Moo training. There is nothing more to teach you from the holy writings. Prince Pooh, I shall relay a message to you from eternity. The evil entity that controls all wickedness is preparing for the greatest struggle of all time. The only ones who can challenge the entity are three boys and one girl. One named Ness is the leader of the four. One of the boys is you, Prince Pooh. Now that you've completed your training, search out Ness at once. For all beings, for the Earth herself, I pray for growth in the might of the four. Pooh's level is now 16. Pooh realized the power of Shield Beta. Pooh's level is now 17. Pooh realized the power of Teleport Alpha. Pooh's level is now 18. Pooh realized the power of Teleport Beta, the technique we have not seen until now. Huh, I imagine the boy of my dreams being 
not bald. Ouch! Way to not mention that you're straight, Joseph. See if I ever make a romance joke again. Nest, my life is in your hands. Whoa, this isn't a pirate trio anymore. It's it's the chosen many. Who joined you? At long last, the chosen four are fully together. Everyone is assembled. All right. I think that'll just about do it for this part. So next time on Earthbound, we're going to see what Pooh can actually uh, accomplish for us in moving forward. See you then. Catching up on the local news of the country, it's Delon today. The Prince of Delon has just finished his rigorous training to save the fate of the world, and Prince Pooh, immediately after realizing teleportation, seeks out a young man named Ness to join his cause. A wondrous device known as the Franklin Badge has also saved countless lives from electricity. Rumor has it that a young girl named Paula obtained one through unknown means. In other news, the Winter Science Club has also made some remarkable discoveries about monsters hiding valuable treasures. Word has it they also discovered spiritual powers may cause the effects listed, and the effects may only be caused by Paula through praying.